Hey, my name is Nicole Fiore, and I roller skate. You know the old school roller skates, two in front, two in back? Yeah, those ones. I'm gonna be teaching you how to roll and entertaining you along the way. Come roll with me. Obviously, I roller skate. What some of you may know is that I am a world champion and I competed for many, many years. What most people don't know is that I am a certified instructor with USA Roller Sports. So, let's do it. First of all, it is great exercise. Second, it's a ton of fun. People typically teach you how to stand up first, but you're probably gonna end up on the ground pretty quickly. So we'll just start there. You don't wanna leave your hands on the ground for too long because you're probably at a roller skating rink or in a public area and there are other people skating by you. So you wanna be very careful with your hands. Once you're on the ground, pick your hands up. Second, you want to roll over to your hands and knees. All jokes aside, you're gonna be on all fours. Put your hands down, put your booty out in the air, and then you want to put one knee up. Wipe your hands off first. Put both hands on that knee. I guide myself with my toe stop, if you have one of those. And then push yourself up very carefully. And then you get into what I call a superman pose. Kind of like a squat, it's kind of like you're gonna do a little dance. You don't want to look down at the ground because you're probably going to end up back down on the ground if you do so. So, you have your booty out like this, your hands out in front, and your chin up. You're standing on our roller skates. That's awesome. Good job. Try to stay really solid. Don't do this. Stand up very slowly, getting your hips under you. And you want to put your feet in a V, like this. This is going to stop you. You don't want to move like this. This will stop you from falling most of the time. In order to move, you want to take little baby steps, and I like to call it like a penguin waddle. So you move your feet, putting your wheels in between each other like this, forming little Vs with your skate. You may have fallen down a few times in between there. That is perfectly okay. Just get right back up. That's what it's all about. In order to balance, Put your hands out like you're in an airplane. Make sure you're not leaning back and forth like this or going like this. It's not gonna end well if you do so. BBC, boobs, butt, chin. You wanna have your boobs up, your butt out, and your chin up. BBC, this applies to everyone, whether it's your first time on roller skates or you are training for the world championships. Once you've got your waddle down, you're gonna start to put your feet parallel to each other and start to march like this. You may realize that you're starting to roll, especially if you're going slightly downhill. Apparently my garage is slanted a little this way because I started rolling pretty easily. Once you're rolling, don't be scared. How the heck do you stop on roller skates? You have toe stops, or you can fall down. That's a really easy way to stop. I want you to start trying to pick one foot up. Tighten your core and pick one foot up. Just try to roll straight. That's all you really need to do. You start to roll and you get scared and you need to stop. Pick that toe up and put your toe stop down. It's important to learn how to stop with both feet Everyone favors one leg over the other. I typically stop with my right foot. You need to learn how to stop with both feet in case of emergency, because there will be an emergency. <laughs> Once you get rolling, you get comfortable picking up one foot, get comfortable picking up both feet not at the same time. Then you can start to do scissors. And if you've seen What the Fit with Kevin Hart, that is what I was teaching when we looked like we were doing a dance move. I was really just teaching them how to do scissors. Once you have some roll, you may start to notice that your feet are starting to do this and you might end up in the splits. They start to spread. In order to keep yourself safe and to not end up in the splits, you have to let the feet go out. Once they get to about shoulder width, then you have to bend your knees, use your inner thighs, and pull your skates back together. Now, you may be saying, Nikki, I'm gonna hit my feet and fall flat on my face. Yeah, you might, you're wearing roller skates. You need to pull your feet back together and do not let them touch. In order to not let them touch, you have to press on the outer side of your skate, on your outside wheels. Let them go that way. 
pull them in and then press on the out and then do it all over again. So those are called scissors. So if you see people at like Saturday night session and they're doing this and they're being all cool, they're just doing scissors. They just added some body to it. All right, well, I think you have enough to practice for one week and I'll see you back next week. You may learn how to skate backwards. Well, wasn't that educational? Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. You know, if you want to learn how to be cool and not fall down so much. Welcome to my skating tutorials. I'm a licensed... A-hole. <laughs>